Once upon a time, there was an island called Scooby-Doo, and sea animals were ruling the world. All the sea animals were happy about their conditions except one of them, the shark, named Dobby, and this is his story. Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you, but I am not happy. Can you guess why I am not happy? Well, I am not happy because I am a shark and no one loves the sharks. They are scared from me. They usually start to escape from me when they see me. And other fishes and our king don't like me either. Are you speaking with yourself, Dobby? Don't talk as if you were a superhero. You are a small shark. You are not powerful and big as your kind. Maybe I am not big or physically strong. But power is not about physical strength. And I will prove it to you. Right now I must see my king. Go shark! No one wants to see you anyway! You are late. Where were you? Were you acting like a superhero again? Do you think that you are the only one who is powerful? You cannot underestimate humans. Hey crab! Why are you running? We should rescue our king. What am I supposed to do right now? Shark! You are the only one that I can trust. To save the king, you must create a robot, but you will need some materials for it. This mission can be dangerous because you need to travel to different places. Pull off your instincts. It will guide you. Go! Quickly! Wow, this is a camp. I can find some useful materials here. Oh, the fire is still burning. There must be someone, so I can't take their materials without permission. Oh, this place looks scary. Why would someone live here? Oh, there is an abandoned house. Here is the material I wanted. I can take it. Stop! Who are you, stranger? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that the place was empty. I would like to ask you the same question. What are you doing in this horrible place alone? I am an outcast. That's all. Stop! I'm an outcast too. No one likes small sharks. Can you share your story with me? Well, I was helping people by making their wishes come true. But they were so greedy. It was impossible to please their nonsense wishes. They always want something more. They need to learn how to be happy with small things. Then let's be friends. Join my journey. I can't come with you, but I can give you the material you need. Good luck! Uh, oh, thank you. I am tired, but I can do it. I trust myself. Where am I? Am I in the right place? Is this the place where I can create my robot? I'm scared. Oh, I triggered the alarm. Everyone knows that I'm here. I need to move fast. Here is the robot. 
Come on, robot, be fast. We need to save the king. Here they are, robot. Do something to save my king. I will use the power of goodness. It will turn them into good humans. Why are you here? Did you make a deal with the witch? What? No, I'm here to save you. I can't believe my eyes. Wow, you are truly a hero. I underestimated you. I treated you very bad, but still you came here to save me. Would you like to work as a protector? Of course, my king. I know that the goodness would won. Who watched the video? Did you like it? I hope you do. So now we're gonna do some exercise about our video. Are you ready for it? Okay, let's start. So first I want you to order the settings takes place in the story, okay? So just think about it for a second. Which scene did you see first? Which scene did you see next? Just like that, okay? And now I want you to stop the video, okay? Because I'm gonna share the answers with you and you should continue after you have done the exercise, okay? So here's our answers and let's start with round one So yes or no, the gene was the enemy of Dobby. Is this sentence correct or false? Do you know the meaning of enemy? We use it for the people that we don't like and for the people that we actually hate so, were they enemies? Let's see. No, they were not enemies, right? They became friends. So, they were friends. Okay, let's see the next one. In the beginning, the king underestimated Dobby, but then the king felt bad for his actions. How about this one? Is it true or false? So, it was true, right? In the beginning, the king was not respectful, but then he felt regretful. He felt really bad for his actions. Okay, let's continue. So, the king and the robot saved Dobby from the evil witch. How about this one? Is it true or false? I think you must be very careful with this one, okay? <laughs> let's see. It was false, right? Because Dobby and the robot saved the king. The Dobby was not saved. He saved the king. Okay, let's go. Now it is time for round two. Who are you, blah blah, said the djinn. A, Dobby, B, shark, C, stranger. Hmm, okay. Let's see. He said, who are you, stranger, right? You may feel confused because you might say, okay, but the shark was named Dobby. However, when they first met, they didn't know each other, right? When we first meet people, we don't know their names. Okay, let's continue. I am blah, 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 but I can do it, said Dobby. A, excited, B, happy, C, tired, D, joyful. Okay, I think you can do this one easily. I am tired, but I can do it said Dobby, right? Because all the other options are good. They're all good feelings. Excited, happy, joyful. However, tired is a negative feeling. Okay, so that was all. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for sparing your time for us. And hope I can see you on the next video. See you.